Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial using my Naked palette, finally. And as of right now, I have no face makeup on, so I'm just going to include that. Because I always do my eyes and then my face, just because it's a habit. So here's the look today. And this is using, using the Naked palette. Wrong eye, sorry. And it's just a gold, kind of brown, smoky look. And it's super, super easy and fast. And yeah. So I'm just going to get started. The first thing I did was prime my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion Eden. So that just starts out with a blank canvas. I'm going to take our Naked palette. And on a highlight brush, I just use this kind of angled, fluffy one. I'm going to take the first color, which is Virgin. It's a nice highlight. And I'm just going to load that up on the brush. Tap off the excess. And just put it under the brow. And kind of sweep it down. Like so. Okay, and then we're going to take the same brush and take it into Sin, which is a champagne color. And we're going to put it on the tip of that brush and put it in the inner corner. So I just have a nice bright corner. Okay. Like that. And then we're going to take a big blending brush and we're going to take Buck and I either always use Buck or Naked as my blending color so today I'm going to use Buck because I'm using little darker colors so I'm just going to dab that on my brush and tap off and you're just going to put this where your natural crease is like this it could be it's okay if it goes a little above because it's just a blending color I hope my sister doesn't wake up because I'm using her computer. It's 1220 though. Oh well. Alright, so I'm just going to do that. You can add a little more if you want. I might just add a little extra. Kind of focusing on the outer corner. Because that's where it's most important. Alright, so you have like a base for your crease color and everything. And now I'm going to be taking just a flat shader brush. And we're going to go into half-baked. And that's just a nice, perfect gold color that I'm in love with now. I'm just going to pack that on the brush and focus it on the inner corner of the eye. Kind of blending it into that sin color. Okay, I'm going to add just a little more. Alright, so now it's just nice and gold, and then we're going to turn the brush around, and we're going to go into Smog, which is just a deep, nice brown right there. And you can see the difference between this kind of brown and, say, Hustle, which is more of a red brown. This is more like a true, true brown, and it's very pigmented. Just flip the brush around and pack that on, and we're going to put that on the outer corner. and kind of push it into the crease. As you can see, it's just adding definition. Alright, and now we're going to take a blending brush again, and we're just going to, oops, going to blend that. Like that, and then we're going to take a crease brush. I just use a pencil brush always. And we're going to take that same color just to add a little more def definition. And we're going to put that in our crease. Kind of making this kind of shape. You want to like make a line and then connect it like this. And just a little more because this eye's, um, this eye's crease goes up a little more. So I'm just going to add a little more. You want to do this really lightly because this color is super pigmented. So. Um. Alright, so that's good. Now we're just going to blend a little more and it'll be perfect. Alright. 
Alright, if you want, you could go in and add a little more of the gold just to make it pop. But, I will just add a tiny bit more. Because sometimes you just lose a little bit of it. So there you go for the eyes. And now we're going to take any eyeliner. It doesn't really matter. It could be one you never use. And we're just going to dip it into your gel liner. You could use a normal black eyeliner if you want for this. But I like using a gel eyeliner because I feel like it lasts longer on the waterline. So I'm just going to take this and dip it in. I need to sharpen this eyeliner though. Wow. So it's just going to look all weird and stuff, but trust me, it works. So we're just going to put this on our waterline. And it's super black. It looks great. So anyways, I was saying, I just lined my waterline with a gel liner using a pencil liner and my parents interrupted me because they came home from the little walk with my doggy. So yeah, I'm just going to continue as I was doing. Alright. Alright, so now I'm going to take like a gray charcoal kind of liner. Now this is a CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in charcoal. Like that. And we're just going to twist it up. And we're going to line our upper lash line kind of thickly. That's not a word. Kind of thickly. And we're going to just focus on the outer corner and kind of just lightly bring it into the inner. So. Whee! Why is it? It's not sharpening. Oh well, maybe I'm running out. So yeah. Like that. This is not to be perfect because we're just going it. We're gonna go over it. Something else. So yeah, just like that. And now we're gonna be taking the combo eyeliner that comes with the palette. I'm gonna take the brown side in whiskey. I lost the cap to it, so I just put something random on it. Cause that's how I roll. So then we're gonna uh, do the upper lash line with this now. Just to soften it up and make it cool. I don't feel like doing black today. Well, not black up there. And do the inner corner. So like that. I really hope you can't hear, um, the music playing out there because that would be annoying yeah all right <laughs> and now we're gonna be taking a little angled liner brush we're gonna be putting this into <laughs> hustle which is a darker brown I showed this before we'll put that on the angled brush and then smudge out the upper lash line This kind of just makes it deeper. So like that. And you can even put a little on the lower lash line. Like that. Oh god, there's eyeliner in my eyeball. Fun! Alright, so that's it for the eyes. Now we're just going to curl our eyelashes and put some mascara on. I have some energy today. It might be because I just had like two cookies with chocolate chips in them. Have you ever had forgotten cookies? That's a question for you guys. If you have, leave a comment. They're amazing. I made them two days ago. And they're like my grandma's recipe, but I think everyone else makes them. But they're amazing. Yeah. Alright. So I'm just going to put some mask cover on and I'm using... Voluminous. This is really old too, but I don't really care. So I'm not going anywhere today. Well, I don't think so actually. Why am I whispering? Do you ever find yourself whispering at the weirdest times? 
that's me. Alright, that's good enough. And now we're gonna go onto the face. So, now face time. I just put some primer on. So, yeah. And take my foundation, which is Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Yay! I love this foundation, and I'm in buff 30. I don't even think I brought it out here anyway. I've got some foundation on my mouth. Alright. Now, Kabuki plus face powder equals setting. I hate powder, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It bothers me when people um put their bronzer in blush before they set because that's such a bad idea. You wanna know why? Because if you put bronzer on a liquid foundation face, it's gonna stick and that's disgusting. <laughs> Just saying. All right, now we're gonna take a big brush. And I'm gonna take my favorite new blush, which is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Minerals Bronzer. It's a blush though. And it's in 167 Amber Glow. Beep, beep, beep. Stereo Rose Dupe. Oh, show. So I'm just going to take some rock. <laughs> oh, I took too much. Oh, man. Make it useful. Just have some in the cappy cap. And we're going to. is pigmented. Get a little like this. And now onto lips. I am using my Feeble Glam Gaga. This was lost for the longest time. Just gonna put a little. Just has a little poppy pop. Let that look like a drag queen. And put some clear gloss over in my ear. Yeah, my lip gloss looks weird. And there you go. So that's the finished product. Here are the eyes. Do, do, do. Mouth. Yeah. Alright, so that's it. 